So uh, for our final project, 5760, we decided to build a tool that helps people play blackjack. Um, so this is a camera over here. That's an NTSC camera that we got from Bruce's lab. And um, this is our setup where we put down cards, and it helps detect the character on the card. Um, so it's a downward-looking camera. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, mounted on a wooden platform. There's a ring light here that, depending on the lighting condition, we may or may not need. Um, yeah, so this is um, distributed over the FPGA and the HPS with a uh, line following to contour the card on the FPGA and um, the corner detection on the FPGA, which gets sent over to the HPS for character detection and recognition. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have three copies of this project. The first one's in MATLAB where we tested our ideas and then we moved it over to the HPS where um, we got all our ideas to work there. And then um, our final copy is a combination of the FPGA and the HPS. So the FPGA does contour following, it gets nine copies of the image, and it, every clock cycle is able to find out where the contour is. And so we sacrifice memory for speed, and then um, we send the contour to the HPS and it does all the rotation and symbol extraction. So in terms of symbol extraction and recognition, uh, we tested a lot of ideas out in MATLAB and then ported them over into C code. Um, Symbol extraction relies on the fact that you know where the center of the card is and then can rotate the card if you know where the corners are from contour following. Uh, so once you know the corners, you know how to rotate the card. Once you know how to rotate the card, you can figure out where the top left quadrant is, which is where the symbol will be. And once you know where the top left quadrant is, you can figure out how to crop it as closely as possible so you minimize the white space. Once we do that, we uh, have an option in the GUI to uh, quote unquote save or scan. So in the VGA, it shows you the cropped, uh, the cropped selection of the card, which should show the image. Um, and then it lets you either save that as a mask of your own or scan it. Uh, if you haven't saved it this, for this execution cycle, it'll use a default mask. Um, so here, we can scan this symbol and uh, it matches it with a king. So it shows it worked for this uh, king of spades. And, the, and the, the sequence of images I saw there was reflects the process you used yes, exactly. to. Uh -huh. um, so it first shows a rotated image with uh, corners highlighted, and then it will show this cropped image up here. Uh, so going one more time, scan. Uh, and that showed that it uh, didn't like what it was looking at for a second, but it quickly recovered. Okay. Put another card on, please. Okay, so there's the jack. Uh, so this is going to say it's a king again because the buffer up there was still a K, but now we have a J in the buffer. So we're going to look at this, and it thinks it's a jack. Okay. So right here, you can also see the grid of what it's looking at uh, translated into ones and zeros. Mm -hmm. So that's the binaryized version of yeah. the. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, in terms of uh, why we made things a grid as opposed to doing pixel to pixel comparison, um, we figured out that making coarser recognition actually helped when images were slightly rotated in comparison to the original mask you were using because a slight rotation would knock all the pixels out of location, whereas if you had a coarser grid, they would still remain uh, in the same grid location. Um, in terms of getting better rotation, we actually could implement something on the HPS, which we did not implement on the FPGA, so we implemented in C code as opposed to Verilog, um, a better corner detection which followed the contour and looked at the second derivative of the contour to see where there were changes in the second, uh, well, when the second derivative was non-zero, basically, and those were registered as corner locations. So this let us do uh, rotation much more uh, accurately and consistently. So in terms of uh, why we made things a grid, as opposed to doing pixel to pixel comparison, um, we figured out that making coarser recognition actually helped when images were slightly rotated in comparison to the original mask you were using because a slight rotation would knock all the pixels out of location, whereas if you had a coarser grid, they would still remain uh, in the same grid location. Um, 
In terms of getting better rotation, we actually could implement something on the HPS, which we did not implement on the FPGA. So we implemented in C code as opposed to Verilog um, a better corner detection, which followed the contour and looked at the second derivative of the contour to see where there were changes in the second, uh, well, when the second derivative was non-zero, basically, and those were registered as corner locations. So this let us do uh, rotation much more uh, accurately and consistently.